Hi, this is Brian Haberlin from DigitalArtTutorials.com and bunches of comics like Anomaly and Spawn and Faster and Light and stuff like that. And I'm going to do a little demo today of the nifty Facewear real-time uh, facial motion capture uh, and how it hooks into iClone. You see on my screen I have a wonderful, almost clownish, and I'm doing Spawn right now, so I felt like doing a clown type character. Clown is a character that's in Spawn. And I'll show you how easy peasy this all is. One of the easiest motion capture things I've ever worked with, that's for sure. So I fired up the motion, the, the, the face wear, and here's the program. You see it's asking for me to do a little calibration here. Now, just so you know, I'm a guy who normally wears glasses. Um, and if you wear wireframe glasses, you're kind of okay. You can see without my glasses on, it's tracking pretty darn well without any calibration at all, right? I put on my glasses and see what happens. So it kind of tries and it gets close, but just so you know, big dark frame glasses like this are gonna kind of throw it off. So uh, I have one contact in right now, so I can kind of see. Um, but anyway, um, uh, there's some great tutorials that go much deeper into this uh, that they already have at Real Illusion, so I would check those out. They, they cover everything. I'm gonna showing you the lazy man quick approach, okay? So I'm gonna do a, a uh, calibration. And it's kind of recommended to do a calibration with a neutral pose, but your mouth a little bit open, you know. And that's about it, okay? Now, if you notice, like, you're, if, if it raises something and your nose thing goes up here or something, you know, calibrate again. Also, I find a bunch of stuff in the background doesn't help. So the more simple your background is, is, is good because it's trying to figure out what's going on on your face okay so once I have this up you then fire up the plug-in over at iClone you see I have a fairly if you're an iClone person you're fairly familiar to this layout of a of a, of a setup um, what you have to do is tell it which character you're using I've already done this but if let's say I hadn't done it I would go click in here and click on Mr. Happy and you're all good okay uh, another thing is if you want to record audio, make sure you, you have the audio set to record as well, okay? Because that's not on by default and if you're intending doing it. I'm just using right now, as you can see up here, a uh, C922 uh, Logitech, which seems to be working great for this and, and for other things as well. And the sound quality is pretty good. That's what I'm recording the tutorial on as well right now. So uh, let's just see how it kind of is working. So you hit the preview button here, okay? Then if you hit the space bar, you can start sort of real-time testing. I can say, hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm not as bad as I look. No, 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 no. I'm a good guy. Very good. <laughs> Let me put you to sleep. <laughs> see, it can be a little creepy and wonderful, but it's great. Just boom. I'm going to pause it right now. So I'm just going to do a quickie little recording. Again, this is a super quick tutorial that you barely need a tutorial on. You can go through, again, there's, there's, there's got to be an hour or more in-depth tutorials on the Revolution site. They get into all little things like customizing these sliders here to get more effect. But out of the box, this thing works pretty, pretty darn good, okay? Actually, pretty fantastic. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do a quick, quick recording and just do some scary voice stuff. So I hit a record, hit in the space bar. Hey, yeah, it's me. <laughs> Good to see you again. How are you? Yeah. Let's go have coffee. Coffee, love coffee. And that'll be it. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and, and, and now add just a little bit of like a... A, you know, an ambient animation to it. So I'm going to drag away the, the face wear here. I'm going to go over to uh, Mix Moves and just grab a little idle that I can put in here. I'm going to slide the slider back to the beginning. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab just a... Let's do a hands-on hips. Okay. So I'm going to do a hands-on hips. Yeah, it's me. Good to see you again. How are you? Yeah. Okay. And then uh, that's not going to go the full length of my voice animation. Um, so what I'm going to do is take it, and if I hold the control key, 
will allow me to, to bring that up over. Oops, let me go here. Do, 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 do. Grab this. That was the Alt key, and that's why it didn't work. <laughs> okay. Now you'll notice I, I kind of separated a little bit because if you do this motion right next to it, it doesn't quite loop perfectly. Like if I come and see how he kind of goes back and forth. So I want to have a little bit of a blend in there. So I'm going to grab the transition here, slide it in a little bit better. So that way we get a nice sort of even motion with this, the shoulder coming up and shoulder coming back. It's not a, it's not a big jerk, okay? No, I'm not a big jerk either. Um, uh, let's drag this one over as well. And I'll drag it over here just to make sure we kind of have an ambient move to sort of cover all the stuff. Let's go ahead and... Hit space part of preview. See, anyone who loves coffee like that has got to be good. Now, if I was going to be really be, be very picky on this, I would go ahead and pick fix this little lip thing. But that's pretty easy to do just with the uh, facial puppet controls. So you can always fix that later. But anyway, I'm going for speed here, all right? So, I got this all set up now, and I'm going to bring it into a, a program where I have a shader that's specially written, uh, and I'll do a quick render so you can see it there. But this is basically all set here, ready to go in, what was that, two minutes, three minutes, something like that. Uh, well done, everybody who put this thing together. Great job. It's me. <laughs> Good to see you again. How are you? Yeah. Let's go have coffee. Coffee, love coffee.